Hi, this is your host, Laura Powers, and I'm so pleased today to be here with Katherine Arnston. She is the founder, CEO, and chief scientific officer of Energy Bits, which is an algae and supplement company. Thanks so much for being a guest on the show. My pleasure. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> so I think this is a great time to talk about health and immunity. I've been reading a fair amount about algae. I know how powerful it is, but before we get into you know, the scientific aspect of that. I'd love if you could just share your story and how you got to be where you are with this company. Sure. Well, <clears throat> yeah, algae is a very interesting um, food group, as you're going to learn about. And um, it, I, like, I tell people it found me. I didn't find it. <laughs> um, I'm originally from Canada, and I have an MBA, and I was doing sort of more uh, corporate business work. And then 10 years ago, 10 or 11 years ago, actually, my younger sister in Canada develop breast cancer. She's fine now, but uh, her oncologist advised her to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. Now, because she was going to do the chemotherapy. Now, they didn't tell her what, why a, an alkaline diet was important or even what it was. <laughs> so she called me, and of course, I love my sister, and I'll do anything for her. And I'm also a really good researcher, and I had no idea either. I said, but don't worry, I'll find out. And I did, and it turned out to be mostly a plant-based diet because of the phytonutrients and the chlorophyll that are in plants that build your immune system. And we're going to talk about that later. Um, so she did change her diet. She did go through chemo. She completely healed. And in the process of helping her, I learned more about the power of plant-based nutrition. Now, you have to remember, this is 11 years, 11, almost 12 years ago, actually. Nobody was talking about plant-based nutrition then like they are now. And as I read, like, on my 10th book, I thought, my gosh, this is, this is really powerful. It's scientifically based somebody has to tell America. So I gave up my 30 year corporate career. Um, and I thought, well, I need some kind of education. So I went to a school called the Integrative Institute for Integrative Nutrition, got a um, health coaching certificate. It was just a one year certificate. And then I taught nutrition for about a year, trying to teach people how to eat more greens. Uh, and in the process of doing that, I learned that everybody pretty much knows they should eat more greens, but they either um, don't like the taste or it's too much work, or they're too heavy to carry from the grocery store, or their husbands won't eat them, or the kids won't eat them. So I thought, well, how can I help people be healthy with greens if I can't get them to eat them? So I, thought, I gotta go back to, I gotta find something simple and fast. So back to the drawing board, which is basically the internet. And I started researching things and I found algae. Well, I had found the algae for my sister, but this time I thought, I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. And I found out that it came in tablets. And if you swallowed them, you didn't taste the, taste green. No, there's one box checked. Uh, people right, yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> uh, you didn't have to cook them, clean them, nothing. You just swallow them or chew them if you like them. Box checked. They're the most alkaline food in the world. Box checked. The most nutrient-dense food in the world. Box checked. The most studied food. There's 100,000 studies documenting the various health benefits, and we're going to go over some of them, of the algae. And there's two main algae we're going to talk about. So nutrient density, box checked. Uh, they've been used in Asia for 50 years where it's a multi-billion dollar industry, almost as big as the beef industry. And they've been sold here as well, but no one's ever explained what it is. The quality has been poor. The packaging has been very Asian and weird. So I, when I saw the science, I saw how uh, based it wasn't in, um, in these real studies and that nobody knew about it, but it was amazing for your health. I thought I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to getting algae into the mainstream. And that was literally 10 years ago. So um, I've sp I spent the first four years just doing research because I had to be sure that everything I was reading was accurate and it was. And then, you know, then I had to uh, build a website and build a team and start educating people. And so um, that's where I am today, trying to help people understand how if they did nothing else to, the, to change their lifestyle, but added algae to it, um, they would see an inc incredible improvement in their health, their longevity, their skin, their digestion, their nutrition, pretty much everything. So it's pretty exciting. And right now everyone's concerned about their health. And so even though I've been telling the story for 10 years, finally people are starting interested in listening. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. I get we. I think we get these like realignment points and yeah. you know crises that really get us to focus on what's really important. And I think our health is really important. It affects literally every aspect of our lives. But unfortunately, yeah. for a lot of people, you know, they're just kind of plugging away. And if it if it isn't a crisis, it doesn't get their attention yeah. most of the time. And yeah. and I have a lot of um, you know 
empathy for people because for me, this happened also, but it was during the recession. I, I had my health crisis, spiritual crisis, job crisis, and it all right. kind of, you know, came together for me. And that was when I started my podcast to focus on health and wellness and spirituality. Right. And I realized how important it is. But I, I think there's some hidden blessings to this, which is a lot of people are, are going to be focusing more on their health and, and what's important yeah. in their life. And, and also, I love that you bring up that, you know, sometimes it's something very small that we can do that can have like a really profound impact right, right. on our life and our health. Yeah. Uh, this moves the needle in the ways in a way that nothing else can and and it's not just me saying that um, NASA has endorsed it as the most nutrient dense food in the world and says that it has a thousand times more nutrients than any other fruits or vegetables and that's why they're going to it's going to be the first plant they're going to grow in in out in space wow. the United Nations endorses it and has since 1974 when they had a global conference on spirulina and declared it the answer to world hunger then. That was almost 50 years ago. Um, the Carnegie Institute, the Rockefeller Institute, like I said, there's unlimited amounts of um, science that document what this stuff does, but scientists like to talk to other scientists. So none of this has gotten out into the public domain, and I happen to have a bit of a science mindset, but I'm, a, I'm at, at heart an educator, and so I, I have been taking all these the science and trying to explain it in ways that people can understand. So um, that's, what, um, that's really what I'm focused on right now. Yeah, I think that's really important, and I don't know. For me, uh, you know, as a psychic, I can just kind of intuit, what do I, you know, like, does this feel like something I'll need? And, and be like, I'll, I'll trust it. But a lot of people, I think, really need the data to right. understand right. what it is. So can you talk about the, the, the nutrients? You said it's very nutrient dense. What specific nutrients are in, sure. in algae? And why is it so helpful for us? Um, well, if it's okay with you, I'd, I'd like to sort of rewind a little bit and sort of explain sure. what exactly algae is. Sure. Um, so first of all, Al, I know you mentioned, introduced me as a, as a supplement company where it's actually not a supplement. And I'm so glad you said that so I can correct it. Sure. Um, <laughs> algae is a food. Okay. It's a, it's a food crop. So you have fruits and you have vegetables and algae is another type of food. And it, it breaks down into two subgroups. We uh, have macroalgae, which is basically kelp and seaweed. And then you have another group called microalgae. And within microalgae, there are two main groups. One is blue-green algae and one is green algae. Now there are thousands, tens of thousands of these strains of algae growing in the ocean and lakes and streams, your swimming pool, your, um, your aquarium. And all of these are toxic because algae absorbs whatever's in the water. So you do not want to eat those. Don't get a, a cup and scoop something up from your swimming pool. No, 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 no. You only want the two algae that are harvested as crops. And those two are spirulina and chlorella. Spirulina is an example of a blue-green algae, and chlorella is an example of a green algae. Now, some people will go online and they might see some some documents on the internet saying about toxins in the algae. Yes, if it's grown in the ocean or lakes or so anywhere except these two. These two have no toxins in them and certainly not ours because we grow ours in triple filtered spring mountain water. So most people think that algae is a supplement because it looks like one, but actually it's just a dried vegetable. Um, it can come in powder, but we only provide it as tablets because tablets are easier to travel with. You can put them in little, uh, we have single servings that you can buy on um, Amazon um, or you can, um, you also, we also have them in large bags and when the bags, they, they come with an empty tin so you can fill them up. So the tablets are really easy to, to travel with. So it's a food. It's grown in water, just like tomatoes, sometimes kale, lettuce. Um, and then all we do, it takes about a month to grow. Um, then we air dry it. No heat, like most companies do use heat, but we don't. <clears throat> so it's air dried. And then we just press them into these little tiny tablets. Um, I'll show you. So they, they, um, they, they may look like pills. I don't know if you can see the little tablets. They're little tablets that you yeah. can eat or swallow or put and, them on a salad or put them in a trail mix or put and, them in anything. 
And by the way, if, if you're listening to the audio only version of this, you can find the video on YouTube, just mentioning that on my uh, Healing Powers channel. <laughs> but yeah, yeah right. they're basically these little green, they're they do look like though. pills, but mm -hmm. yeah, they're not, they're food. Uh, so you can eat them, you can swallow them. Yeah, I like that you can just swallow them because a lot of times, uh, I mean, there's certain things I just don't, it's not that they taste bad, but it's just like. Well, I will, I, I will admit they're very green because they they have the highest concentration of chlorophyll and we're going to talk about the two different algae because they're completely different and they do completely different things in your body but um that's why spirulina which um well maybe i'll, I'll go there now so spirulina which is the blue green algae it has the highest protein in the world it's 64 percent protein just oh, to wow. compare that's... as a comparison animal protein is usually about 20 percent so it has three times the amount of steak or chicken. It's amazing. And that's why the United Nations declared it the answer to world hunger because of the high concentration of protein. Now, all this protein is already in amino acid form. So your body doesn't have to break it down to get access to it. So it's also a very bioavailable protein. Mm. Um, animal protein, as a comparison, takes up to three days for your body to digest it, break it down to amino acids. And, and most of us don't have all the factors and cofactors, so you end up absorbing only 10% of the protein as amino acids. So you may eat 50 grams of protein of steak, but your body ends up only absorbing five grams as amino acid. In comparison, a single serve, our little pet single serving pouches have 30 tablets in them, and that's five grams of protein, but you absorb all of it. Um, spirulina also has uh, a very high amount of uh, essential fatty acids, including omega-3, which makes it really great for your brain health and for reducing inflammation. You know, it's funny because a lot of people eat salmon for the omega-3 and other cold uh, water fish for the omega-3. And I tell people, well, where do you think the fish get their omega-3 from? Mm -hmm. They get it from see from um, microalgae so you might it's much better for you to get your omega-3 also from algae because algae was the first life on earth almost four billion years ago and they have fossils to prove it so before algae there was no life on earth it was just water and gas i don't know what caused algae to grow but it started growing and it also releases oxygen so after a billion years there was enough oxygen on earth for other life forms to grow so spirulina is our ancestor to everything i mean it's this right. paleo ancestral as you can get and it's at the bottom of the food chain so if you're looking for things that are um whole and natural and good for you algae is the best thing in the world so spirulina has all that protein it has all that <clears throat> uh, essential fatty acids it's also very high in iron which gives you energy and, that, and that's what spirulina does it gives you energy mentally and physically and it also helps with your focus and your hunger. So a lot of people use it for intermittent fasting because both algaes are also ketogenic. They're also vegan and paleo. Um, so you might have it for breakfast. A lot of athletes like it for their workouts. Um, we have uh, truck drivers and surgeons that use it when they're working. It just really helps with your mental focus. Um, it also has, it releases what's called nitric oxide, which um, um, helps your mm. soft muscles um, soft muscles, um, smooth muscles rather, relax. And your blood vessels are a smooth muscle. So yeah, I was going to say it's good for the heart, right? And it's also good. I, I just did another interview where we were talking about actually libido and, and sexuality. And it's actually nitric oxide is really good for, for that, for yeah. um, your sexual health, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that increases nit nitric oxide is good for everything <laughs> upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> so um, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a remarkable um, algae. So it, it has 40 vitamins and minerals. So a lot of people use it as a replacement for their multivitamin. They use it as a replacement for snacks, a, a meal replacement where you're stuck in traffic, you can't get to dinner. Um, this will satisfy your hunger. And because spirulina the first life on earth is actually technically a bacteria. It's called a cyanobacteria. It does not have a cellulose wall on the outside because it's a bacteria. That means it gets absorbed by your body almost instantly if you chew it and within minutes if you swallow it. So again, it gets all that, all that nutrition 
Um, so it's great if you are a diabetic or you have um, uh, blood sugar issues. It stabilizes your blood pressure almost instantly. And that's why, again, my athletes like it because it gives them energy without upsetting their stomach because it's absorbed before it even almost literally gets digested. So it's pretty powerful. Um, and just to give you one more amazing thing about it, I read that in uh, Japan, if babies can't digest mother's breast milk, they give them uh, mostly spirulina, but I think chlorella to a certain extent as well in water because it's the only thing that keeps them alive. And I often wondered, what was it in the spirulina that was doing that? Well, then I saw a nutrient profile of mother's breast milk, particularly the amino acids. And I thought, gosh, that looks awfully familiar. And sure enough, it's virtually the same amino acids as you find in spirulina, the same ones in the same proportions. Oh. So, um, so I now am starting to realize because algae was the first life on earth, um, thanks to mother nature, and because it's so similar to mother's breast milk, and of course nobody can get breast milk after the age of two, algae is literally mother earth's breast milk for us. I mean, it's just, it's, the coincidences are like too amazing. So um, it makes me so proud to be telling people about it because it is so nutrient dense. It's great kids, newborns to, you know, centurions can, can eat it and it's easy to digest and, and um, will fill in all the nutritional gaps that you have. So that's spirulina, blue green algae, fast absorption, energizing, um, and full of nutrition. Um, it also has two pigments in it, by the way. That's why it's called a blue green algae. The green pigment is chlorophyll, and we're going to talk about that next with chlorella. But the other pigment is called phycocyanin. And this blue pigment, the reason I'm mentioning it, and we'll talk about it later, this blue pigment has been found to have very special immune building properties. And it seems to have the ability, through the science that I've read, to crack through coronavirus and other viruses, which helps stop it. So normally chlorella is the only algae that we're going to talk, and we're going to talk about it, that's been used for immune building purposes. But because spirulina has this phycocyanin pigment that has other healing properties, um, and there's lots of them, uh, it, it, it's also one that you want to be taking if you're wanting to protect yourself from, the, from this and other viruses. So, um, so that's spirulina. So about a billion years later, there was enough oxygen on earth for chlorella to develop. Now chlorella is a green algae and it um, does belong to the plant kingdom. Remember spirulina is a bacteria, chlorella is, a, is technically a plant. And in fact, um, it has the hardest cell wall in the plant kingdom. Spirulina has none, chlorella has the hardest. Why is that important? Well, that hard cell wall attaches to toxins in your body it, and it's known as a chelator, which means it pulls out heavy metals, lead, mercury. Um, it'll pull out radiation. It also pulls out alcohol, lactic acid, anything that shouldn't be there. It will chelate and pull it out. It was used at Hiroshima, Fukushima, um, Chernobyl um, for pulling out radiation. It, we sell it through biological dentists who use it to pull out mercury, not only for the patients, but for themselves because they inhale the mercury when they're pulling these amograms out. Um, it, we have clients who use it when they have chemotherapy. So they take it after their chemotherapy. So they're not as nauseous because it will pull out the extra chemotherapy. Um, we have people that use it after they drink some wine. So after you're finished, you take this and in an hour and a half, you're sober. So uh, uh, chlorella has an amazing ability to pull out toxins and seven or eight years ago when there was the Fukushima disaster, the chlorella global supply was bought up within 24 hours because everybody in Asia knows it's the only thing that pulls out radiation. So, mm. so it's, it's pretty like, powerful. It's like a hand sanitizer and mask for us now. <laughs> they're me? gone. It's like hand sanitizer and masks for us yeah. now. They're all gone yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. So that's, so that's one of the um, health benefits of chlorella. It pulls out toxins. The other amazing thing about chlorella is it has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. Now, uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about chlorophyll. So what is so important about chlorophyll? Well, one thing I'll tell you, and I don't know if you can see this, um, the chemical composition of chlorophyll is virtually identical to your blood. It's absolutely identical, except hemoglobin has um, a... Um, iron atom in the middle, that's your blood, and chlorophyll has a magnesium atom in the middle. Other than that, they are identical. And this is why 
in during World War II, when they ran out of blood for transfusions for the injured, they would give them liquid chlorophyll because it would help them heal just as quickly. And it, um, because it, it kills bacteria, they use it topically. So you have to say to yourself, well, Mother Nature is always, in, she's, the, she's the intelligent one. Why would she make our blood so similar to chlorophyll? Un maybe we need chlorophyll. Yes, we do. Because it's a natural blood cleanser. It cleanses your liver. It cleanses your cells. And here's the other interesting thing I found out. Chlora um, well, first of all, chlorella, as I said, has the highest amount of chlorophyll in the world. It has a thousand times more chlorophyll than uh, Chinese greens, 250 times more than spinach, 25 times more than um, wheat grass. It even has 25 times more than liquid chlorophyll. So if you want chlorophyll, don't buy liquid chlorophyll. Get chlorella because it has even more than liquid chlorophyll and it has 40 other vitamins and nutrients and protein and other sort of stuff. Um, but I, can what just, I, I just have to just add that I think one of the cool things about this too is, is as you mentioned, it's a whole food. And I found that a lot of vitamin supplements have a lot of extra junk in there. Oh, I you know. know. They, they have I, I, so many fillers. I literally can't have like 90% of supplements. I'll just say supplements as a whole, but including vitamins yeah. because of all of the additives that are in yeah. there. I, you know, I don't eat grains. They're usually filled with grains. They're often filled with like, you know, magnesium stearate. I don't react well. You know, there's so, so much junk in, yeah. in vitamins and minerals and supplements. If you can get something that is just a natural food that has that. And I think that's so much better. Plus it's just your body knows how to process it versus, right you know, a pill. And they found like, uh, I'll just say that one very popular supplement, um, vitamin that's supposed to have like all you need or whatever. And, you know, they've found that they just go undigested through people's bodies like all the time. Yeah. You know, well, here, and here's why <clears throat> when you buy a vitamin, they're made from extracts and they're made in a pro a manufacturing plant. So there's two problems there. First of all, vitamins don't exist in nature as extracts. They exist in food as part of the right. food. So when you extract them, you're, you're, you're missing like 90% of what else was there. There's things called factors and cofactors. As an example, vitamin C is actually about 200 components of which ascorbic acid is one component. But as you'll notice in almost all vitamins, vitamin C is listed as ascorbic acid. Well, where's the 200 other components? And, and the way I describe it to my, my millennial team is when you do that sort of thing, it's like going to work with just your shoes on. Well, like, where's your top? Where's your pants? You can't go to work with just your shoes on. You need the whole outfit. Well, when you, if you want your body to get all the benefits from nutrients, it has to come from food not from extracts. Um, and because algae is food, it gives you that. The way I explain it is algae is like a full orchestra. You know, extracts or vitamins, it's like listening to a soloist in grade school. They're still practicing and it's not very well done. And it's still just one instrument. When you have food, you have all, everything. And so everything works together harmonizes, play, uh, it, um, it uh, uh, leverages each other. So you get way more, the, the sum of the parts is way more than the individual parts. So that was one problem with the supplements is that they're extracts. The other problem is they're manufactured, which means they're heated, which kills enzymes and kills the, messes around with the nutrient mm -hmm. value. So you're, that's why then you'll see on all the vitamins that the amounts are so high because they know your body is only going to absorb about one to five percent of it when you mm. eat food like algae you get everything well especially algae because everything's already the the amino acids are all already there you don't have to break them down and all the other nutrients are attached to them so so uh, algae's the real deal algae's the orchestra why would you put up with just a single soloist when you can have the whole orchestra <laughs> so oh. and, and one of the things I noticed on the packaging is there one, I think it said beauty on it. So which one is the one that you recommend for, yes. for well, beauty um, and, and what about it is, is for beauty? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so I just, I'll just wrap up with chlorella because, because chlorella, we, it's called recovery bits um, because it helps you recover your health. So chlorella is known to be the wellness algae because it pulls out Got toxins, it. the high chlorophyll builds your 
builds your um, immune system because it's a fat chlorophyll is a fat based pigment so it heals your cell walls and when it's healing your cell walls that makes it easier for nutrients to go in and toxins to get out i always wondered you know what do people mean when when they said something was cleansing well that's what cleansing is it, it's it's when nutrients can get in and toxins can get out if you can't get the toxins out then what they do is they sit there and they start damaging your mitochondria and they start damaging the cells. So now it's not functioning properly. Now it can't communicate properly. It no, it's sick, but and a healthy cell will, if it knows it's sick, will kill itself. But unhealthy cells don't communi pro communicate properly. So they become even sicker and then they, they multiply. And so it's a slippery slope. So chlorophyll, I tell people, you know, when your windows are dirty, you can't see out and sunlight can't get in. So chlorophyll is like, window washers for your cells it allows nutrients in and toxins to get out so everything works properly so that's why and, it's and a lot of toxins accumulate in the brain too because in the brain it right. in fatty tissues so that's like really not a place where you want exactly. toxins yeah um and so um it's almost like you read my mind because we all we generally we can take either algae any time of day with each other by themselves it doesn't really matter but definitely take it at night because your body goes through a detox cycle when you're sleeping. Mm. And when you're sleeping, when you're in the deep REM sleep, your brain actually shrinks a tiny bit. And this is because your brain has its own lymphatic system. I think it's called the glymphatic system, which basically rinses out toxins. So if you have chlorella, which is a detoxer, in your body while you're sleeping, it's gonna facilitate that cleansing of your brain and your body so much better so, mm. and that and the, the realizing a lot of aluminum is what's contributing to alzheimer's so oh um, yeah uh, and chlorella has also the highest concentration of rna and dna in the world which helps your cells grow back healthier it has the highest concentration of um uh, or has a daily requirement of k2 k2 pulls out um calcium from soft tissue like your blood vessels and moves it into your bones where it should be otherwise it will start causing artillery sclerosis and cause hardening of the arteries so chlorella has k2 that moves that out it has a lot of other sort of healing properties that we can talk about in a minute but um anyways that's that's chlorella but back to spirulina you're asking about spirulina so yeah. it uh we have two versions and the reason why we have two is because you remember i started the company because of my sister being uh, sick. So women's health has always been my top priority. But when I first started the company, I noticed that women weren't buying my spirulina. So I, I just asked my girlfriends, like, why do you think they're not buying spirulina? And they said, well, it's, it's the color, it's blue, and you got to give it a cute name. So because uh, spirulina has so much protein and antioxidants um, and phytonutrients, which helps your skin and your hair, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to make another version of my blue spirulina and call it beauty bits it's exactly the same but women prefer it over the energy bits because it's oh yeah pretty, you know, and i design everything by the way so um i want i want everybody to be happy when they're using the product taking it out of their handbag taking it out of their fridge so and because i know the science and i know what this stuff does i'll do whatever it takes to help people feel comfortable with it and enjoy it so beauty bits is the same as energy bits they're both spirulina they're just packaged differently so okay if, if that no helps. but i think that's important and, and i have noticed that uh, certain things re messages resonate more for women when you when you include that beauty element like you know here's the thing like i talk about parasites parasites are a huge problem in this country most people have parasites they don't realize it it's a, a massive problem and a lot i think a lot of people are like okay well, well parasites but if i say hey um, parasites eat your collagen and make you look like you age faster, you know, right. <laughs> and all of a sudden women are like, right. oh, okay. Like, yeah, I don't want parasites. But when you put it in that terms, it's suddenly like, oh, wait, maybe, yeah, maybe I want to yeah. do this. Now. <laughs> yeah. well, I, well, well, that's, and good for you for doing that because, um, you have to catch people's attention because everyone's so busy and they, they think they know everything. And, and, um, and if it's, if it's important, they figure they should have known it by now, but they just don't, there's just too much information to know about, especially when it comes to your body. What totally. have we been taught about our body? Like zero. I think they should skip some of the other classes and like math classes and start teaching people about nutrition and their body and how, how they work. And then, then what I'm doing here with algae would seem natural, not, not strange. 
Well, and sadly, even, you know, medical training is very lacking in terms oh, yeah. of nutrition. So, I mean, I think you're talking about just general education for the average, you know, everyday person. Yeah, we really don't get it. But even doctors, I think, don't get enough training on this, which is, you know, our nutrition is vital to our health. In fact, right. I think it's like, that and toxins are the two biggest factors as far as I, I can sense yep. from hosting this health podcast for years is, you know, clearing out the toxins or, or avoiding the toxins and then making sure you have the nutrition that your body needs to run. You get those two things taken care of and like, you're, you know, going to be pretty well set up. <laughs> it's funny that you say that because I, I, I have a presentation that I give to people and I explain the two reasons why people are sick and I'll, I'll send this to you because you can put it. Oh, your great. Journal. Yeah. It's not enough nutrition and too many toxins. That's it. Yep. That's that's 99.9% .9 of why we we're sick. And yeah. that's also why I think the coronavirus has taken such is taking such a toll because we're stressed, we're our immune systems are loaded with toxins so like it it's it's not functioning properly. So it can't support you when something big like this happens. The way I describe yeah. it is, you know, if you if you um, fake uh, a whole bunch of um, small fires and have the, you know, fire, maybe not fake them, but maybe there's small fires and you call the, the fire department to put them out. Well, then while they're putting out your silly little fires, they're not able to put out the big fire that maybe happened down the street. So the little fires are ones that we are causing unknowingly ourselves. And these little yeah. fi health fires are too many toxins, not enough nutrients, too much sugar, um, not enough chlor chlorophyll. And so your body just can't protect itself. Um, and what's happening with mm. the coronavirus is that uh, it, like all viruses, um, invade through your, um, what's called your mucosal surfaces. These are, this is where your immune system is. Your immune system is in your gut, um, primarily in your gut, because this is uh, where uh, your immune system is any part of your body uh, where there's a mucous membrane that interacts with the world. So it's your mouth, your nose, your lungs, your gut. And if your immune system is strong, it, it will detect a pathogen or a virus and send out, you know, killer T cells, killer cells, um, microphages that basically envelop the virus or whatever it is uh, and, and um, kill it. So it can't go any further. But if your immune system is not functioning properly because it's putting out all these other fires because of the toxins yeah. or because you don't have the proper nutrition, it's like giving, you know, going to a fire and giving the, the firemen a hose, but no water, right? Chlorophyll is the water that puts out the fire. So if your body doesn't have the chlorophyll to put out the fire of the other problems, it, it, it's, it's a sitting duck when it comes to a virus coming in because it, it, it can't defend you. It just can't yeah. defend you. So yeah. it's our job to give our bodies, you know, when we're adults and we have child babies, <clears throat> we consciously give them food that they need. I mean, we know babies need certain food. I, well, you know what? <clears throat> we need care, self-care at all ages, not just when we're infants. And we forget about that. We forget about the self-care part. And we're only maybe looking for the short, quick sensory thrill of sugar mm -hmm. and forget about the devastating inflammation that it causes cascading through your body. I'm not saying you have to give it up completely, but be sure that you're balancing that out with some other proper nutrients. And if you don't want to make a big change in your lifestyle or your diet, algae is the simplest, fastest, most nutrient dense, uh, foolproof way to give your body what it's crying for to protect itself and make sure that it's healthy. Yeah, I think part of what's happening now is we, you know, there's this health crisis right now. And yes, I think it is being triggered by coronavirus, but what it's really showing to me is, is the lack of health and vitality that we have as a people. Yeah. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. I, I think the bar of health is so low, uh, generally yeah. speaking, that if you don't have an acute illness, people think they're healthy. And I'm like, I, right. from what, you know, I'm like, no, that's actually not healthy. That just means right. you're not really sick. And so I think you yeah. have a lot of people where the illness is not so cute that it's like, um, 
you know, stopping their life or, you know, even super noticeable if they're not paying attention. And, and what this is showing is like, Hey, we really need to be more aware of toxins of nutrients, because these are the two things that are going to reduce the health. Also lack of sleep, I think is a huge yeah. issue. Hopefully people yeah. are <laughs> sleeping more now, but, but I think that this is really important. And, and also that, um, yes, there are things we absolutely should change in terms of, you know, lifestyle changes with, like you said, not eating sugar and, and things like that. But sometimes there's little things we can do like this, you know, vitamins, period, vitamin C, little things we can do that are going to have a really big impact on our health. And at, at the very least, if we can do that, you know, then maybe work towards making some of these, you know, bigger changes. I just don't see, there's some people, for example, that you know, they're literally all they're eating is, you know, fast food every day, and they're not getting the nutrients that they need. Like, right. like you would never put, you know, um, you know, lawnmower fuel in like a performance Ferrari or something like you're just it's not going to work, right? right? And I think right. that's what's happening. Yeah. We're all giving ourselves just kind of junk and especially and expecting the our bodies to perform as if they're getting what we need. Yeah, it's, there's a disconnect. And um, this, you know, it's frightening and it, it, for everybody what's happened from the coronavirus in terms of loss of life. Uh, and it's also affecting everyone's job and career and livelihood. And, and it's put our entire world on pause. But if you, you know, what I've learned from doing my, doing my startup and because I, you know, it's been a very challenging process for me to um, pursue this. But what I've learned is that if you can push through the fear and see the other side, you'll see that this will be a dividing line. Our, our world will not be the same again, because um, once yeah. you have become aware of something, you, you, like in this case, uh, algae and our health and how connected we are, you can't unlearn it. Um, and what the coronavirus is telling us is that we need to pay more attention to our health to um, being more respectful of our health, of each other and our earth, because it can't sustain the kind of damage that we've been giving in, in, in the pace that we've been keeping. So by having to step back and stay at home uh, and evaluate, um, I think people are gonna start making some important shifts in their choices. It's all about choices, right? Yeah. Um, and one of the, as I mentioned earlier, when I first started, you know, I, it was because people, I wanted to help people get the chlorophyll that they needed in their bodies and they didn't want to go shopping and get all the greens. Well, we have a quote, this quote from NASA that says, algae has a thousand times more nutrition than any fruits and vegetables. So we did the math. I don't know if you can see this. Our um, bag of, um, this is recovery bits, which is chlorella, but all of the tablets are the same. One bag of our thousand tablet algae has the nutrition equal to 551 pounds of fruits and vegetables. That's about 30 grocery carts of food. Mm. Now, right now there's a lot, some grocery stores do not have as much fresh vegetables as they Absolutely. had. And even still, the fact that you could get that much nutrition without having to cook it, clean it, carry it home, do anything to it. If you take like three or four tablets, it's like having 10 plates of vegetables. So it's very efficient nutrition. And that's why I, t I urge people, even, you know, if you want to take these shifts very in small bites or bits, um, this is one that I would really endure, help you know, ask people to at least consider right. because this small change will have a big impact because of the nutrient. And I'm, it's not me saying this. This is from the you know, Rockefeller Institute, the Carnegie Institute, the you know, United Nations, NASA. So these are well-regarded organizations that have been studying algae for decades, but the knowledge hasn't made it out to the public. So I'm, I feel like I'm doing like a you know, public announcement, you know, try, you know <laughs> please, please try algae because it'll, it'll help you and it'll help the earth because it's also um, the most sustainable crop in the world. You get 200 times more protein per acre than you do cattle ranching. You get, uh, it takes a tenth of the water. Uh, it releases oxygen when it's growing. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's amazing what it does for the earth. Um, so it's, it, it could be a big shift for us if we could start using it more and growing it more. Uh, you probably don't know this, but even the White House has a, a realized the importance of algae. And last year in the 2019 uh, Farm Bill, they released the very first Algae Agricultural Act to encourage farmers in America 
to grow it here because 99% of it is grown in Asia. We grow ours in Taiwan, which is world renowned for its high quality, but virtually no algae is grown in America. So even they see that it's uh, nutrient dense, great for the earth, um, and a and a grow a crop that we need that we need to have here. So. Um, I tell people, well, that's further proof it's not a supplement because, you know, show me a supplement farm. <laughs> and, and by the way, if you want to try this, um, I, I've been taking it. I think it's a, a really incredible tool for us with immunity and health. And, and like you said, with, you know, not having access as much to fruits and vegetables like we're used to um, with food shortages, uh, you can get a discount code of healing powers just for my listeners is healing powers for energy bits. And uh, yeah, definitely try it out. Uh, I, I, I want to try out the, uh, the beauty bits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the yeah. yeah bits. well, I'll send, I'll send you some for sure. Um, <laughs> so the, the discount code Healing Powers only works on our website, energybits.com. Okay, so um, it's so energybits.com. We also do sell single servings. If you don't want the full bag of a thousand tablets, we sell single servings uh, for $4 each on Amazon. Um, mm -hmm. But the, um, again, the, the beauty bits and the energy bits are both spirulina. And then we have um, our chlorella, which is, we call recovery bits because it helps you recover your health. The beauty bits and, and uh, energy bits give you energy. And then we also have another one we call vitality bits because it's a blend of the two algae. It's 50% spirulina and 50% chlorella. So um, if you wanted a little bit of the both, but the, um, the spirulina, traditionally has been used for energy, hunger, intermittent fasting, um, focus, but it has that phycocyanin <clears throat> that has some other immune building properties that complement the healing properties of the chlorella. So in this case, because that's what people are interested in, um, it does have a, a, a health um, benefit as well. Normally we don't emphasize that, but the phycocyanin is important right now. Great. Well, this has been wonderful. I think it's great that you're doing this. And I think we all are looking for whatever we can do to not only help boost our own health, but like collectively boost our overall health. Because basically what this is showing is we as a society are as healthy as our sickest people, unfortunately, yeah. because it's, you know, this is, there's not a person alive, I think right now who hasn't been impacted in one way or another, whether it's financially or directly via health or, um, you know, through someone, a loved one who's sick uh, with a coronavirus. And so I think this is really showing that we all need to do whatever we can to boost our own health and therefore like, you know, raise us up <laughs> right. as a people. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share uh, with our listeners, uh, either inspiration or, or more information about yeah. algae as a whole? Yeah. Um, well, like I said, when I started this, it was just to help my sister. So um, I wasn't planning on building a company. I just wanted to help her. And then I thought, well, I can help a few more people. And then I can help a few more people. And then 10 years later, here I have the company and that I think is going to help a lot of people, which makes me very, very happy. Um, but the other thing I want to point, well, and related to that, is that so every, every choice, everything we've done, whether it's the strains of algae we choose, the growing techniques that we use, um, Everything has been done to emphasize safety, purity, and quality. And this is not, so there's a lot of other algae companies out there and there's a lot less expensive algae, but I can promise you that nobody spends as much time and focus on the purity, quality, and dent nutrition safety as we do. Um, because I did this to help people, not, not to make a fast dollar. In fact, we're the only algae company that's endorsed and sold by doctors nationwide endorsed by Olympic athletes um, all over the world. Um, and we are the only ones that I'm aware of that does third party lab tests here in the US at an FDA approved lab. And we even t do extra tests to ensure there are no microtoxins, which are you know, for your brain. So the, and because we're selling through doctors, so they need to be sure that it's clean and pure for their patients. So um, that's why you could give this to newborns, you could give this to your pets, you can give this to your um, grandparents, uh, even if you took just three or four tablets a day, it would make a difference in your health. Children, just give them one or half of one for their age. So if they're four, give them two, you know, two or four. Um, and there's no maximum. You, it's just like eating a very nutritious salad. So it's not a pill. It's not a drug. 
you can take as little as you want or as much as you want. So I say, it's like, you know, when you're hungry, you might want to, if you're not hungry, you might have a small salad, but maybe you're really hungry. You might have a big salad. So maybe some days you have maybe three or four tablets. Other days you might have 30 or we have NHL players that take 75 before they hit the ice wow. for a game <laughs> uh, that they take spirulina before the game and they do the same 70, another 75 of chlorella after the game because it pulls out lactic acid. So, and I probably have at least a hundred every day and have for, you know, 10 years. So, um, uh, and that's probably one of the reasons why my skin is so good because I'm probably a lot older than you because it, it helps protect my skin. So it's oh. safe. Ours is the safest, purest um, that you can find, period. And um, we do everything with integrity and honesty and, and love. And we're just, we're called, this is my path. And so, uh, I'm here to help anybody. And so anyone has any questions, they are welcome to email us at customercare at energybits.com. There, we, I have pers we have in our database about two to 3,000 of these studies of, you know, I mentioned there's 100,000. We've got like about th two to 3,000. And I've written about 200 papers to explain different benefits from heart health to brain health to children's health to, you know, women's health, um, environmental health. It's whatever you need, we, we've got it. <laughs> great. So, yeah, well, consider is, algae your new best friend. <laughs> amazing. This is great. Well, thank you so much. And again, if you want to try that out, uh, it's healing powers is the code at, and it's energybits.com. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Catherine. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you for doing what you do. I thank think you. like I said, right now is such an important time for all of us to focus on our health individually and collectively. And thank you so much. Um, uh, do you have social media handles or anything? You'd oh like yeah, to our uh, social handles um, uh, for um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are at Energy Bits. We also have an Instagram for Beauty Bits, which is at mm. Beauty Bits. So, uh, and we do lots of fun promotions there. We have a big contest going right now uh, to win four thousand five hundred dollars worth of products from other wonderful, healthy entrepreneur mm, companies. So, so come and check us out there. It's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> amazing thank you so much Catherine. Okay. it's been a pleasure thank you and thank, and thank everybody for listening if you'd like more information about me you can find me at healingpowers.net you can find me at twitter at that laura powers instagram at laura powers 44 and on facebook at healing powers thanks for listening